What's going on guys? How are y'all doing today? So I really wanted to be out on the water, but we have a really, really strong south wind. It is blowing about 20 to 25 with gust upwards to 30. So that combined with the Saharan desert dust or whatever it is rolling in our area, it's just not really going to work out right now. But just because we can't be outside doesn't mean we can't have fun. So what I wanted to do today was show you how I've been tying jigs. Now here's a little disclaimer. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've only tied a few jigs in my life. But hey, it's fun. It's cool. So let me show you what I've got going on here. Um, and let's see what we can do. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start by putting a little base on this jig head. This is not necessarily a how-to video, but it's just going to go over what I'm doing and maybe y'all can give me some tips down in the description. Or... Alright, so I went ahead and started putting the base on. I'll just have some black thread here. Should be good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and snip the tag in as close as I can. Then I'm gonna try to wrap that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take some marabou out. We're just gonna So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lightly put it on here. Just kind of like that. And I'm going to make sure it's at least sort of straight before I start tying everything on there. So these extra feathers out. Now like I said, I have no idea what I'm really doing. I've watched a few videos and I've tied a few and I've tied a few jigs but they're pretty awful so I took a break and now I'm just going to tie it up And this is okay because I can just trim this up a little bit. That was kind of sloppy. That's okay. Now I have my Chanel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Chanel and clip it off. Alright. So, now I'm going to apply that that body on there. Make sure it's down semi decent. It's not the biggest deal because I think it's going to be able to wrap pretty good. So I've got it here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start wrapping. Try to make it look semi pretty. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to tuck it. See, this is the hardest part for me trying to tuck this tag in. Actually, it's all pretty hard for me. <laughs> I am not very good. So I guess that's in probably about good enough. I'm going to go ahead and clip this. Okay. So 
So I don't really have the, the whipping tool or the whip it tool or whatever it's called. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some little loop knots right here. Some overhand loopers. And that should be good. Good enough. So I'm going to take this, clip this end off as high as I can. Alright. So we've got this little feather sticking out. It's not necessarily the biggest deal in the world. I'm just going to try to clip it to make sure it looks. Alright, so we're now done. Alright, so we've cleaned it up about as good as I can do it. Now, like I said, I'm, I have re really no idea what I'm doing. But, it's just fun. It's all in the name of trying something new and having a little bit of fun while doing it. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of super glue. Make sure it all sticks together. And there you go. That's it. It's not necessarily the prettiest jig in the world um, but I'm pretty proud of it it's something that you know I just started doing a few days ago and each day you do it you notice that you get a little bit better and a little bit faster at doing them um, just like kind of everything else like it just takes a little bit of time and practice and you start getting things down um, this is really basic but it's cool it's fun um, now what I'm going to do with this guy right here is hopefully catch a fish. Alright guys, so here we are, walking up. The water is super clear. I went ahead and brought my big rod with me too, just in case my little jigs don't work out, but I don't see why they wouldn't. Fishery guys, I just you can't get them to commit. There we go. There's a guy. <laughs> well, acrobatic. He's a feisty dude. Holy moly. Let's flip him on up here. There we go. Hey, hey, so the hair jig worked. Sweet. Let's get the hook out of him. There we go. Look at this little dude. Sweet. Alright. I'm going to let him all back. And he's feisty. Cool. So, there you go. If I can tie a jig and catch a fish, you probably can too. That was pretty cool. It's awesome to catch a fish on a, a jig or a lure that you made yourself. That was pretty cool. Alright guys, so one part I didn't get to show you is these are some of the other jigs that I made. You can hard to see. Um, if this shot doesn't work, I'll show you a better, better one. But uh, since it is a few days later, I got to practice a little bit more. And uh, I feel like, for the most part, a lot of them turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to try to tie one of these uh, newer ones on and see if we can't just switch up a pattern and get something to bite. Right here I have a purple and chartreuse jig head tied in with two hackle feathers at the end, white deer fur surrounding it, black chanel, and a black hackle feather collar.
what the heck? What the heck? I didn't... <laughs> oh my gosh. That was kind of crazy. I thought I was just hung up. Cool. So now we got another one. Put on our other jig. This collage is swimming it. And then, and I didn't even know. I thought I was just hung up. <laughs> Little dude. It's pretty. Let's throw him on back. Cool. Well, that's two jigs, two fish. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. That's a decent fish. Flipped right up on him. Oh, it's not as good as I thought. It's a little bit better. Sling up there. There we go. Another fish. He's pretty, guys. Real pretty. And there's that jig. Nice. Cool third little dude. Let's let him go. He's sitting right in a little brush pile. Not a brush pile, but a mat pile, whatever you want to call it. Again, he was right on the edge of the real dirty water versus the moderately dirty water. <laughs> Maybe there's another guy sitting right there. Oh my gosh, a fish caught that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I was totally hung up. And this little dude over here. Got my bad. Got him. Look at there, look at there. Nice little dude. That's number four on our homemade jigs. Cool stuff. Well, there he goes. He's trying. He's a special one. All right, there you have it. You can tie your own jigs and you can catch fish. You don't have to be an expert. You just got to get out there and try it. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.